My name is Dr. Gary Magdesian. I'm a veterinarian here at UC Davis, and my specialties include internal medicine and emergency and critical care. And today I'll be talking about five things horse owners should know about snake bites. First, the common locations of snake bites are the muzzle and the legs. Horses are curious and they'll explore uh, the snakes, they'll come up to the snakes, lower their head to investigate, and then the snakes will strike them right on the nose. Second, if your horse is struck in the nose, this can be an emergency situation because the snake bites cause tremendous swelling and edema, and that can shut off the nostrils and airflow in the horse. The signs of a snake bite include two small puncture wounds, and there's oftentimes a trickle of blood coming out of those holes. There'll be a, a, a very rapid development of edema and swelling in the nose. Keeping in mind that horses are obligate nasal breathers, if the nostrils swell shut, they can suffocate. What horse owners can do before the vet arrives is to cut about a six inch piece of garden hose, lubricate it really well with Vaseline, and then gently pass it up one or both nostrils. That will uh, prevent the nostril from swelling shut and the horse will retain the ability to breathe. When passing the small piece of garden hose, you want to make sure that the hose stays on the very bottom part of the nostril because otherwise it can get trapped in the horse's false nostril, which is in the upper part of the nose. So the earlier the intervention or treatment, the better the outcome. One of the early treatments that your veterinarian can administer is uh, antivenin which is a product that contains antibodies against the snake bite toxins. Something else that your veterinarian can do is to place a tracheostomy or a tube actually in the windpipe if the swelling gets severe enough that the horse is unable to breathe even with the garden hoses in place. So some of these horses will require IV fluids and some will require some IV dextrose to give them calories until they can start eating again. Number four is myths regarding the early emergency treatment of snake bite wounds. One of those is to incise the snake bite and then suck out the venom with your mouth. Another is the use of tourniquets, uh, strong tourniquets to try and prevent spread of the venom. And lastly, the use of either ice or, or really hot compresses at the site of the snake bite. And again, those can cause more tissue damage than, than good. The snake venom does not remain in their system for very long, but instead it's more the after effects of the venom on the heart muscle called the myocardium. That warrants keeping your horse rested for a two to three month period after a snake bite with just pasture turnout and hand walking. And then making sure your veterinarian listens to your horse's heart and looks over your horse before you start riding again.